Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it. Um, first, I want to say happy Saturday. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and stay aware of your surroundings, okay? Especially those that's in Boston right now, y'all, okay? There's this big celebration that's going on this weekend, and it started yesterday, to be honest. Um, the Satanic Temple... Plans to hold its 10th anniversary celebration in Boston this weekend. And several Christian groups have promised to protest the Satan Con. This is what they called it, gathering. All right, y'all? One of which said it plans to ambush the event. This is what they're saying. But the thing of it is, y'all, the people, you know, these Satanists, they weren't expecting the Christians to come and ambush it. So they have something planned for them this weekend. Okay? So, you know, while the Christians call themselves gathering for the go protest, they've been wanting them to come and protest. So, y'all be careful. Okay? Be careful. This is nothing to play with, y'all. It is a spiritual war going on right now. And, you know, our Heavenly Father is gathering his people, and Satan is gathering his down here. Okay? And um, it's as simple as that, y'all. This it has come to this point where people have to make a choice right now. They have to. You have to make a choice. And as you can see, a lot of celebrities and people that's uh they got money, they're making their choices. A lot of them. A lot of them have made their choice a long time ago and they call themselves, you know, um the neutral now. But, you know, once you sell your soul, it's hard to, you know, come up out of it. Okay, y'all? It's not that easy. And a lot of people think it's a game. They think it's, you know, to help push their career. And then when they get to where they want to go, they can leave it alone. This and that. It's, it don't work like that. This is why you're seeing now a lot of celebrities and people um, getting taken out. And they're targeted. Because they once, you know, took that vow. And, um... It's still in effect. Okay, y'all? Um, the Satanic Temple... This is what they're saying. The Satanic Temple doesn't worship Satan, but rather uses it, its status as a religious group to reject tyrannical authority, according to a report. The largest Satan gathering in history... That's a lie, y'all. They do worship Satan. Um... The largest satanic gathering in history began Friday in Boston, Marriott, Copley Place, okay? A group of Christian activists plan to hold a counter-response and call and revive Boston um, on the same days as SatanCon. The group's leader, Dr. James Siderhead, said in, you know, a YouTube video, while they think they are coming to ambush Boston, little do they know that God has planned to ambush them. This is what he's saying. The Catholic Archdi Archdiocese in Boston plans to respond to SatanCon with intense prayer. Um, this is what they're saying in the report. Now, I want y'all to look at this place. This is where, you know, that it made they mark, y'all. Nice building. I wonder what goes on in there, y'all. And do y'all see how they got the gates up with all the windows? So y'all, Lord have mercy. What's going on in there? Once you get in there, can you get out? Do y'all see all the gates? That's around the windows at the bottom. Which is weird. Um, Be careful, y'all, this weekend. I mean, be careful all the time, but especially this weekend. Because when you got a bunch of Satanists gathering, there's going to be a sacrifice. There are going to be some sacrifices. So don't be surprised when you hear about some sacrifices this weekend. Because uh, they're beaten. 
And when, and they said this year is going to be the largest gathering ever. And I'm not surprised because this is the year of Skull and Bones. They're claiming this year is their year. Okay, y'all? And it's nothing to be scared about, okay? Because a lot of these demonic people, um, they're their own worst enemies, okay? They're taking each other out. You know, I've never seen people join a group that um, takes pride in pain, okay, of their own members. It doesn't make sense. Now, yes, they go after other people that is against them. But they go after each other, you know. They give each other timelines. They play God with each other's lives. So they decide when their members or their family members of the members or people that's close to the members gets taken out. And they call it a sacrifice, okay. And when you say something about it, you know, they bring up Jesus. Well, you know, if, 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 if God can sacrifice his son, then Satan can sacrifice his members. And this is how they feel. Okay, y'all, it's all a counter reaction to what, you know, you know, God has done. Okay. And this is like a mockery. This is a straight up mockery. They didn't turn everything that God has done, you know, um, they, they, they try to turn it around with a twist to their own stuff. I guess, you know, Satan must feel like if he copy off everything that God does, and if he can, you know, get a lot of people to turn against God, that makes him God. But you will never be God. Satan will never be God, okay? This is why he has to lie and do all these schemes and scams to, you know, manipulate people. Because he has to manipulate and lie to get people, you know, to be with him. And, you know, there's so many people out here that with screws missing they don't care about, you know, what comes with being a Satanist. They don't care, y'all. Um, everybody that's, you know, uh, love God and, you know, against Satan, you know, um, put your guards up because it is a lot that's going to take place this year. Every month is something else. Every month is something else. You know, I, I, I don't even, what do June have to offer? And what do Halloween have to offer if this stuff is going on right now, y'all? And you best believe this year is going to go out, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all, with a bang. They're going to out try to out top every year that has previously went out. They're going to try to out top it. They're going to try to out top it with, you know, that um, that surprise factor of taking out somebody big. And then they're going to take out little ones, too in there and you know in the industry they're gonna take out you know e you know a little e everyday moves but somebody that you still you know that's going to cause a stir stir up some stuff y'all okay um this is this is what they do you know they are predictable now you know what they're gonna do what they up to um they're very predictable now Things are starting to be clear for a lot of people. And people are waking up and they're seeing what this truly is about, y'all. They're seeing it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Only thing I can say is you all just, um, I'm about to go make me some tea, y'all. I got to get me, make me some tea. Because I'm, I'm sick of this signage, y'all. I don't know what to do. Um, y'all just be careful. Stay prayed up, um. Know where your loved ones is, you know, at all times. And I know people are like, oh, they grown. You can't keep up with them. Yes, you can. Check in with people that you love. And um, you all going to have to come up with a plan. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Even if they are grown, people need to check in. And let people know what they're doing, where, where they're going. And stop playing these games because, you know, um, Satan is very, very busy, y'all. He's so busy, it don't make sense. He really is. And um, he's so busy that, um, like I said, his own followers are being exposed. And the reason why they're exposing, you know, people that's against God and stuff like that too, um, they're exposing their own people is because 
when you expose one thing, it uncovers something else. It's just like the Marcus Houston whole thing with him uh, marrying, you know, through the hall, through the Jehovah Witnesses, um, him marrying a baby, y'all. Pre them prepping a 12-year-old and basically, you know, uh, taking a, a missing person and hiding her out. This is what the Jehovah's Witnesses did for Marcus Houston. I don't know how much they were paid to do this. And um, he's hiding behind the Jehovah's Witnesses. And it really makes them look bad. You know, it's a lot of stuff that's going on with them that looks bad already. But this even makes them look even worse. So this pulls people, you know, this caused conflict in the organization. When you have stuff like this going on. Of course, you're going to have people that's been in the hall in these churches, different ones, for years. That's going to look over everything that the brothers or the church members are doing. They look over this stuff, even though they know it's wrong. And they still continue, you know, to um, run up in these guys' face and act like everything is okay. And that the brothers, what they're doing is, you know, by the books. They're going to take a loss for this one, y'all. Even though this has been going on for years and years and years, um, they're taking up a, a huge loss with the fact that they are not disfellowshipping um, Marcus Houston for what just took place. They are not disfellowshipping Chris Stokes for what took place. When you just totally ignore something um, and act like it doesn't exist, and if you don't say nothing for years and years and years, it'll just go away. It builds up. It builds up steam. And then you have people in the organization that's looking at you sideways. And um, it doesn't take away from, you know, what the Bible teaches. You know, it don't take away from Jehovah. But it does take away from, you know, people want to even be in the hall and sit around, you know, certain demons that's sitting in the hall. That's covering up you know, stuff that's going on, okay? And this is not just Jehovah's Witnesses. This is what the church is. This is what, you know, the, the popes and all of this stuff, okay? Um, it's a sad world we're living in. But like I said, um, a lot of, you, you have a lot of stuff that you can look forward to, okay? And I say this all the time, you know, when when, when the Bible say, you know, you know, God is going to clean out his own house first, he knows that there's a lot of hypocrites, amongst his people he knows this and this is going to be taken care of first this is what he says um and then that's when they're going to get to these demons after that but the you know you got to clean out your house first and that's with anything and everything not just god you know you have to clean out your own house first you know before you can you know move forward in anything you can't do anything if your own house is chaotic you can't. This is why I say all the time, be careful. Um, make sure that your circle is, you know, people that you can trust. Your circle is small. It's not of people that you can't trust. You don't got people running to your house that um, you know run around and talk about you behind your back all the time. Chaos. Order of chaos. And you would be surprised at the people that... Um, if you don't stand on top of certain things, um, people in your own household will be your downfall. I keep telling y'all, Cain took out Abel. Okay, y'all? Um, so it's not a surprise when you have people out here that's taking out, you know, their cousins and two at a time and all of that. And we're going to talk about that too in the next video. Um, because we found out some information on the female that, you know, the two females came to the house and she took them both out. And um, they were all cousins. So we're going to talk about that in the, in the next video because that needs to be addressed. There's so many people that's um, on the fence about that. So I want to have, you know, I want to talk about that as well. But y'all, like I said, be careful. Because whenever there is a large gathering of satanic people, there is definitely going to be some sacrifices. <clears throat> and excuse me, the most thing that they... Um, they get a kick out of is 
them little ones, y'all. Them little ones. So keep it with your kids. Because, you know, just don't think that this is going on in Boston. These are gatherings that's taking place all over the world, y'all. They're doing all kind of little gatherings. This is just one that, you know, they are uh, publicizing to let everybody know, come one, come all, if this is what you're about. So, uh, y'all be careful. Because this world is jacked up, I keep telling y'all. And the real is waking up. Oh, and a lot of the real have been already been woke for a long time. They just stay out the way, okay? And let this world just fall with May, you know, because, you know, it's a matter of time. It is a matter of time. And, and Satan knows he has a short period of time. This is why he's getting so bold, you know, and has his members out here doing what they're doing, you know, wilding out. In their tech. And look at the media. I keep telling y'all, look at the media. Look at the cartoons. How they're pushing um, all this transgender and same, you know, people mingling and tingling with the same sex and all of this stuff. I want y'all to just pay attention. The, t the school teachers is bringing in their, you know, rainbow flags. And, you know, it's a lot going on, y'all. They're bringing Ouija boards to the schools. The kids is playing Ouija board. Talking about they need to learn about Satan just like they learn about God. That's what they're telling these kids. Um, take control of your family. Make sure you know what your kids is learning, doing, even at school. Have a talk to them when they come at home. Because you'll be surprised what, you know, they're trying to slip in and teach these kids. And not even tell you about it. Okay, y'all? Um, it's just so much going on, y'all. All at once. The cartoons. You know, you got to sit there and watch, you know, two cartoon men hugged up now you know this is weird why are they coming at the kids like this why can't kids just be kids anymore y'all they're not letting them be kids anymore you know i don't care about what people does in their bedroom but stop bringing it to the kids stop pushing these agendas you know they try to act as if um i be bullying people and this and that and, that and this but when i see something i'm gonna call it out if i see somebody that got a page and they over there pushing agendas and trying to be slick with it. I'm going to say something about it. And if anybody don't like it, don't come to the page. Because I ain't about to hold my tongue for none of these drag queens. Okay, y'all? I'm not about to do it. Okay? Stop pushing what you do in, you know, how you live your life. And your and me and when fingernail polish. Stop pushing this on these kids. You know, they done brainwashed these rappers. That the only way you're going to make it out here is you push this agenda. And we got a lot of sellouts, so, y'all. We have a lot of sellouts. That is just like them, you know, what they call them, the house, the house niggas. Okay? They're the ones that can come in the house and, you know, th with the mask. Okay? And the rest of the everybody else is out there, you know, sweating in the fields. This is how, you know, the rappers and the people that got money look at everybody else. Even after, you know, a lot of the people that's, you know, they didn't push this agenda on their kids and stuff like that. These are the ones that put them on these pedestals. They don't see it yet, though. And when they see it, it's going to be too late. You know, they're going to look up in their daughters and their sons, then grew up and um, they're not, they're not going to have no control over them. Because, you know, they're not being parents anymore. They're letting them do whatever they want, letting them listen to whatever they want, watch whatever they want. And I done took phones and tablets. This is like a regular thing for me. For my little sisters. Um, I make sure I grab them tablets and phones up. I, I pay attention to what they're they're watching. They got parental guided guidance stuff that you could put on these phones and stuff so that they can't go to certain sites and stuff. And, and they don't have to go to stuff, y'all. It'll pop up on their phone. They... I do believe that they know when the kids is on certain things because kids going to type in different stuff than adults are, okay? Um, they're going to cartoons and stuff like that. So they're going to throw stuff, you know, to them. I, and I know y'all have experienced this. You could be in your house and you could be, you know, having a discussion with your family and you can say, well, I think I need to buy a new car. And then you go to your email and you got a whole bunch of car people sending you stuff, Okay. Um, you could be in your house and you can say, 
I need some new furniture. And then all of a sudden you go to your emails and stuff like that and you have all of these emails. Um, I used to think that, you know, this can't be no coincidence. And how do they know? But if they keep on filling your houses up with all this smart this and smart that and smart that, um, it's, it's not all that smart, y'all, okay? Um, you're being watched, you're being listened to, and um, it's obvious. And if they do it to you, they'll do it to these kids. They could be in the middle watching the cartoons, and they're going to send them something that will entice them. They know what kind of stuff that they like. And then they think they're looking at a regular cartoon or a little video on YouTube or this and that. And then it turns into something else. Because they're trying to program them. And they're trying to reach out to them, you know, any way that they can. That's why I say pay attention to your kids. There's so many adults out here that have kids. And they're not paying attention to them, y'all. They're not paying attention to them. And they are off in their room for hours and stuff. And they're listening to stuff. And they're reading. And they're learning things. And their little brains is soaking up everything at certain ages, okay? And this is why it's so important for you to, at them, them, them ripe ages, to make sure that, you know, Satan is not getting to them, y'all. Letting them think that certain things is normal or this is what it's supposed to be like. Because none of this stuff is normal that's going on. But they want it to be. They want these kids to be used to this. They want to program them. That, you know, um, desensitize them. That none of the stuff matters or bothers them. All these people taking each other out. They want to desensitize them to all the dirt that's going on in the world. So pay close attention to your kids. You know, you can um, talk to my little sister. They're going to tell you that I, I come for them tablets. That I sit there and listen, you know, if I hear any cut, And I tell them if I hear any cussing coming from your phone or your tablets or your computer, you won't have it for two weeks. Don't play with me. You take away stuff that they like. Okay? And that's what bothers them the most. Okay? And get them, you get them in line while you got some control over them. Because if you don't, the world will do it. And that person that you call yourself raised is not going to be the person that you think they are. Seriously. This is why they starting with these, you know, with them so young. So they can get in their minds. And, you know, I'm telling y'all, it, it's so much stuff going on. And the fashion industry is the worstest thing out here, y'all. So be careful what you bring bringing home as far as going into these stores. And I know y'all think, oh, if I just go in there and buy a Balenciaga shirt or this and that and that, and this, this is nothing. But y'all just don't understand the power of some of this stuff. They're doing seances over material things y'all they're doing this and they're bring that's why you know it's very important what you bring into your house um doesn't have no kind of st mojo on it because that affects your household y'all people do i told y'all when i was younger i didn't believe in this stuff i was like these people is crazy when i used to go to the hall i'd be like these people is crazy as i don't know what they had us going through our cabinets Taking out, no, taking tags off of stuff and all kind of stuff. And I was like, Lord have mercy. These, these people's driving my mama crazy. She got me in here taking out Procter & Gamble t tickets and um, whatever it, whatever you see Procter & Gamble on, take it off of everything in this in this cabinet. I mean, we was in there taking it off of everything, scratching it off of stuff. That we It was, you know, it was on a lot of stuff, toothpaste, all kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, Lord, we're going to be in here all day. But now I understand. I get it. You know, when you got Lil Nas X and he got gym shoes coming out that they, they're claiming they got blood and they're doing seances over the materials that's the paint that's going into the shoes. Y'all, they are doing every, any and everything in their power to get something in your household that represents them. So just be careful. Be careful, y'all. Because everywhere you turn, this is what is going on, okay? So I just want to jump on here really quick and let talk to y'all about this. About to go make me a cup of tea and get comfortable and come right back, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.